just an update really. Um, quite a while back, obviously, there were plans for a, a transport interchange in Ramsey, which uh, were quite controversial, I think it's safe to say. But uh, they were part of a, an interconnected uh, strategy for the town involving uh, developing a, a number of sites for uh, local authority housing. And, and so we've seen uh, some of those constructions start now on the Mayfield site, which is fantastic. Uh, but a part of this, uh, this kind of plan was to redevelop some of the other sites, one of which would have been the, the old bus station. And so the question for the minister really is, is where are they, how are they getting on with that? I think there are, uh, still needs to be uh, some kind of plan to redevelop uh, some parts of, of the town. The bus station itself is, is quite uh, an old building and, and is definitely in need of replacement. Whether or not we can also... Uh, it's, it's replacement, really, isn't it? It's, it's, it's pretty shabby now, isn't it? Yeah, and so my, my hope is that they, they carry on with uh, some plans that are similar to the plans they originally had, which is to combine the bus and tram station, but not, not perhaps in the same way they'd originally envisaged, because, like I say, those plans were, were a little bit controversial. Well, it, it led to quite a lot of opposition, didn't it? it? It did, it did. And I can understand why, because obviously the tram station itself is, is quite a historic building. Um, but I think there, there does need to be done something because if, if we don't uh, if we don't redevelop the area if we don't provide better uh, transport facilities, uh, then that that old bus station site is never going to be freed up for development. So something has to happen in my view. Uh, exactly what has to happen, I, I don't know the answer to that. But I just really need to see from the minister. I, I know they are working on these things. I know there are plans afoot. But I think it's just be nice to hear exactly when, when what it's they on are. the agenda. E exactly. Yeah. When when is it these things are coming forward? Ex exactly. Maybe what even is coming forward? How have things changed perhaps since the original? Uh, site plan was envisaged if it's changed at all and just to try and get a better understanding of what the DOI is planning to do in that space. The other one in the uh, in your target is uh, the Minister for Home Affairs uh, a series of questions and they're all linked to the programme for government are you feeling some things are, are, are slack they're not uh, being done? They are I mean uh, over the last couple of sittings I've been tabling a series of questions so I'm trying to table them in, in small chunks so I don't overload any of the departments um, <coughs> so really what I'm after is 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 updates on progress for a lot of the actions we're, we're being told quite regularly that they're, they're green amber or red and really that that doesn't mean a lot um, if something could be green it could be green for six months could be green for two years and yet nothing's happening on it so it's better to get a, a more a deeper understanding really of some of the actions that are ongoing and so over the last couple of sittings and over the next few sittings I'm going to be trying to table questions to get slightly more detailed updates on some of the actions in the program for government some of them I think are slipping uh, and I think from some of the answers I've already received you can see you get a feeling really for which ones the departments are prioritizing over others and you can see which ones are progressing and which ones aren't and then hopefully that will then let us uh, get it into a bit more detail on the ones that aren't progressing as to, as to why not what's not happening uh, and but equally giving the departments an opportunity to say the good things that they're doing and say yes we are making progress on some of these these things and they're not shouting about them but they're still playing away behind the scenes a lot uh, i would imagine in departments uh, is being delayed a little by preparations for maybe a no deal brexit I suspect you could be right there, that uh, from a legislative perspective, definitely, there's a lot of work going on, and some departments are definitely more impacted than others, but yes, I, I get the feeling that there is a lot of work going on behind the scenes in respect of Brexit, and so some of the things we'd like to do ourselves, obviously, are being put somewhat on the back burner.